As Chicago police work those incidents, this letter was issued hours earlier. Police Superintendent David Brown offering a little help to officers on what could be a violent weekend. Designated CTA buses will be used to transport members to and from what he calls break locations. Just part of the CPD's plan to keep us safe this weekend. Our Charlie DeMar live now with more on what residents think about that plan. Charlie. Brad, good evening. A violent start to this weekend. Superintendent David Brown laid out his 4th of July holiday plan, making it clear that there will be a high presence of officers throughout the city. But a man that we spoke to today whose life is forever changed by gun violence, he is not completely sold that this plan will impact the violence this weekend. Most days you can find Joseph Parker near the intersection of 63rd and Artesian in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood. He lives just blocks away. Today there are candles lined up against the business to remember the 11 people shot here on Sunday. One woman died. Hey, you don't got to be doing nothing to get shot. You can just be outside. Kids getting shot. All grandmas getting shot. Parker's life changed instantly from gun violence 11 years ago. I got shot, I got paralyzed, like it ain't a good thing, it ain't a good feeling. I'm paralyzed from the, from the leg, from the waist down. Hours before the mass shooting on 63rd, there was another in the South Shore neighborhood. Six people were shot in that incident. It's why Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown is laying out his crime strategy going into the 4th of July weekend. Officers are moving to 12-hour shifts starting tomorrow. All days off, Friday through Monday, are canceled. Whatever his plans is, I hope it's to keep the city safe. You know what I'm saying? Stop all this violence. Brown revealed that June 2021 saw a double-digit decrease in murders compared to June 2020, marking the third month in a row that Chicago saw a decrease. But last year, during the pandemic, homicides spiked dramatically in 2020. So when you look at this year's year-to-date shootings and murders when compared to recent years before the pandemic in 2018 and 2019 are still significantly higher. No one's here bragging, boasting, or satisfied for that matter. We would love to be back on the momentum of 2019's decline, but we're grinding our way with progress. Joseph says above all, safety is on his mind this holiday weekend. I feel like, like, like it ain't fair. I feel like a lot of people be getting cheated out their life. Like, like, cause they be innocent and then it's just wrong place, wrong time. Now, Superintendent Brown has agreed to meet with several aldermen tomorrow at a meeting where those aldermen demanded to find out some more specifics about the policing strategy going into this holiday weekend. Mayor Lori Lightfoot calling it nothing more than political theater. We are live tonight from Chicago Police Headquarters, Charlie DeMar. CBS 2 News, Erica. Thank you, Charlie.